you know, I actually have no idea what, what city we're in right now. Uh, if anybody walks outside my room, I will ask them. The thing I want to tell you is that we had an incredible day of riding. Um, there were eight of us on the road today. We started out in Blythe, which is just inside the California border from Arizona. Um, very typical two-lane highways going out of town with cotton fields and other um, low-growing um, vegetables. I don't really know what they were, to be honest, but lettuce or something. Lots of cotton out here. Um, and then we climbed into the Chocolate Mountains, which made me really hungry for um, Cocoa Pebbles and Count Chocula and Cocoa Puffs, you know, all that kind of stuff. And, and then from there, the uh, topography changed again and we went into the desert like, like serious, like, like, uh, you ever see Star Wars, like Tatooine, like the uh, sand dunes? Um, I thought for sure some Ewoks and dudes were going to come out of there. Uh, it was really amazing. It's like uh, probably many people who are watching this video have actually been out there. Um, somehow I'm 37 and I've lived here for 10 years and I've never been out there. It is like what you see in the movies. It's stunning. Like you could get a surfboard or a snowboard and climb up on these dunes and just fly down. Um, we just had a great time. Uh, you know, we were, everybody's in Pavlov kits. We look like a pro professional cycling team out there, if I don't say so myself. And Rick had us uh, uh, um, very organized, um, doing, doing uh, you know, sharing the load out up front. Um, it just, it really felt like a community, which is the thing I love about cycling. Everybody does their pulls at the front and then goes to the back to, um, to, to rest and then they cycle back up to the front. I mean, it's just like real life, uh, except you're on two wheels and you're sort of in suspended animation because you're not at home working and with your family and, um, and all that stuff. Of course, we're out here with a purpose and everybody today um, rode with a purpose, with the purpose. Um, and, and everybody here has got their own connection to cancer. Um, our friend Jason from Northern California, uh, he's an old friend of Rick's from Modesto, California, lost his father at a very young age to cancer. It's very personal for him. Um, Harach, who owns Velo Pasadena, the first day that I ever met him, uh, four years ago or so, three years ago, Pablo was in my arms. We were in his shop on East Colorado Boulevard in, in Pasadena. Harach doted on my son as if he were his own. Um, would let him ride uh, little training wheel bikes around the shop. He didn't care if he ran over people's feet. He just wanted Pablo to have fun. And and uh, for his birthday last year, um, Harach and his wife never gave Pablo a little specialized uh, dirt bike with training wheels. You know, it's just it's a very personal thing out here. Our friend John Smelzer from L.A., who is the top fundraiser, um, for giftberry.org slash poblove, which is the, um, uh, the tool that we've, we, we brought in at the start of this ride so that you could set up your own fundraising situation and go out there and, and, and hit the, um, hit the pavement, uh, in service of our foundation. Um, John is, is on his way to closing in on $10,000 in donations. He rode with us today. Uh, we shot a video with him. It's up on the site now if you want to check it out. Um, and his connection to the Pablo Foundation as a father and a husband and, and a dear friend of mine is deep. Um, I like to share things with you guys in real time. And um, I got an email today. Uh, Rishi got it. Um, Rishikesh is, our, um, is, is three things, four things to, uh, to, to Joanne and I. First of all, he's, he's an incredibly loyal and amazing friend. Um, he's babysat for Pablo. Um, he's tutored Grady uh, from time to time as, as just to help us out. Um, and uh, he and his fiance Lindsay have have babysat Pablo. Um, uh, Rishi's the person who who literally started the Pablog uh, when we were in the hospital that first night, uh, May seventeen, 
from May 18, 2008. I emailed him and asked him to set up a blog. He's actually the dude that did it. He's the executive director of the Pablo Foundation, so he's he's our right hand uh, person and keeps this whole thing floating. Um, he he's also the um, the uh, um, he works with Peter uh, in the creative department at Danger Bird, so on artwork and photos and videos. And he's also an artist on Danger Bird. He's the 1 a.m. radio. So Rishi's a lot of things. He got this email today through info at pavlov.org um, from, from a young lady that I met uh, named Destiny Himmel. And um, she... She is is a is a patient at CHLA. I met her when Pablo was in treatment. Uh, I went down to see um, to see James Valentine from Maroon Five, who um, does guitar lessons for kids at CHLA, and um, our friend Adam Harrison, who used to work with us at Danger Bird and now has gone back to being one of the managers for Maroon Five, uh, took me took me uh, down to meet James. Uh, he lives in the neighborhood. He's um, very graciously shows up at CHLA once a week when he's in town to teach real cancer kids how to play guitar. We met Destiny there. Uh, her hair was dyed several different colors. She's a cancer patient there. She was incredibly charismatic and incredibly bright and engaging. She was there with her mom. Um, I got her name and her address as, as well as the other um, young man, um, who I recognized because he had been one of Pablo's roommates at one point, and we sent them both um, care packages of Danger Bird stuff. To Peter and I, it could only be like a fantasy of ours that people, um, particularly young people, would would like any of the bands on our label. The fact that people tend to like a lot of the bands on our label and would be happy to receive a package from us is just it's a dream of ours. And I, I never really saw Destiny after that. CHLA is a big place. People have different treatment schedules and, and so forth and so on. And she just sent um, an email to us saying that uh, she'd been trying to get a hold of us uh, since June, in her late June, early July, uh, to thank us for the package. Silver Sun Pickups are my favorite band. Um, she sends her deepest condolences. She said um, she's been praying for our family. Uh, she and her family have been praying for our family ever since they heard the news of Pablo's passing. She then says, my mother and I have been an active part of the cancer community now, community now for almost two years, and when something affects one of us, it hits all of us. The mural painted on the side of your record company is beautiful. She's referring to the Pablo mural that we're all going to ride by on Saturday morning when we roll into town. She goes on to say, and I hope it is making People take the time to realize the importance of life and how vital it is to spread cancer awareness. This is a girl, a young lady, um, I don't recall her age, she's in her teenage years, uh, writing an email and saying, I hope that people take the time to realize the importance of life and how vital it is to spread cancer awareness. She then goes on to say when she's done with her treatment, officially in July, she's going to become a full-time cancer advocate and help in whatever way she can. And she wonders if she can get involved with the Pablo Foundation. This is what I wake up for every morning. A chance to connect with real people on real things, whether it's in our business at Danger Bird, whether it's in uh, our foundation, philanthropic passion at the Pablo Foundation. This is what it's all about to me. Uh, as I write my book and get ready to uh, embark on that journey, that's what I'm doing by writing a book. Um, being out here on the road doing this ride in service of the mission of the Pablo Foundation. That's why I'm doing it. Destiny made my day. And um, I'm hoping that she can come to the concert on Saturday night at the Avalon. Uh, I've sent her an email and asked her if she'd like to come. I, I want to introduce her to Black Rebel Motorcycle Club and Band of Horses and Shirley Manson and Charlotte Martin and Tom Morello and the band that I can't mention. And... Um, Tom Gable from Against Me. I have a feeling uh, that she's an alternative rock fan, and I would love to uh, further make her day um, by introducing her to some, some people she hears on the radio and letting them meet uh, a young teenage uh, um, girl who is really going through cancer treatment. 
since my son is no longer physically here with us and some of these people have never met him, I'm going to see if we can uh, make their day in that regard. See you tomorrow.